This is Daria Shabad with CorporateProfile.com reporting on the news for Monday, July 2nd, 2012. The interest rate rigging scandal at Barclays has led to a resignation of Chairman Marcus Agius in an attempt to take the heat off of Bob Diamond, the company's CEO. The interest rate rigging scandal has dealt a huge blow to Barclays' reputation and is most likely that other institutions that were involved in the rigging process will have to undergo scrutiny by the authorities. Barclays has officially admitted that some of its traders have been manipulating the LIBOR rate, which is the benchmark for prices on about $350 trillion of derivatives and other financial products. This new scandal is certainly not helping the banking industry to redeem its reputation in our eyes, and investigations will continue into other major banks such as Citigroup, HSBC, UBS, and RBS. Mexico has a new president housed by an old new party. The Institutional Revolutionary Party regained its strength with a handsome Pena Nieto leading them to victory with a vow to bring order back to the drug war-ridden Mexico. Nieto is promising the Mexican population to reignite economic growth with economic reforms and reining in the rampant drug war that has claimed as many as 55,000 lives since 2006. Let's hope he succeeds. Samsung is dealing with another huge blow from Apple as a court ruling in favor of Apple blocked sales of the Galaxy Nexus smartphone in the U.S. Samsung shares fell by 2.3 percent. It is yet another victory for Apple in its fight over the $219 billion global smartphone market. Apple has also settled a trademark dispute with Chinese firm ProView claiming rights to the iPad name. Apple settled the case with a $60 million pay out and all is good in the world of Apple again for now. From the world of sport, I am sad to report that Rosol turned out to be a one-hit wonder, at least for this year's Wimbledon. After giving his stellar performance and achieving one of the biggest upsets in tennis history, he succumbed to German Philipp Kohlschreiber. Very sad, I was really hoping he would fight his way through to at least the quarterfinals. Better luck next time. But on a much happier note, Viva Espanol! What a match, what a victory, what a defeat. Poor Italy, they didn't even seem to have time to blink as the goals kept coming, one after the other. Spain's teamwork was impeccable and in the end impenetrable. A well-deserved victory and I'm so happy Germany's loss to Italy was redeemed by the Spaniards. And of course, Spain's star player Iniesta is named player of Euro 2012. Have a great day everyone, I'm Daria Shabad with Corporate Profile reporting directly from Wall Street. Thank you for watching and please tune in again for more hot financial and world news.